Hey there, Libra. What's up? What's good? What's happening? Welcome in. Welcome back. This is going to be a general message. Take it if it resonates. Leave it if it does not. You do not have to be a Libra for this message to be for you. And if you are cross-watching, you're the one here for a message. So I might be speaking directly to you. We're using the Light Seer's Tarot today to see what's coming through for Libra. Please and thank you. What are the messages for Libra? I feel so excited to do your reading right now. <laughs> like, oh, what's going to be? What's it going to be? It's almost like, I don't know. It's like playing bingo, right? And all you need is B13, B13, B13. They just pulled another ball. They're about to read it. B five. No. All right. On the edge of your seat again, right? <laughs> oh, four swords. Okay. Calm down. We do, don't we? We need to calm down a little bit. Let's calm down, Libra. Yeah, right. There's no chill on a Libra. <laughs> Ten of pentacles. Aw, you guys are hanging out with family, spending time with friends, just kind of relaxing, enjoying life, feeling very content. Page of Cups. Getting some thoughts in order, getting some plans. You're thinking things up right now. Libra is thinking things up. What's new? What are the things that Libra's thinking up, though? Long-term stuff. Stuff that includes friends and family. Again, this could be like planning holidays or birthdays for the year. Maybe there's one coming up pretty soon. About a month away and you're like, well, I better start making plans and telling people. So they don't make other plans on this day. Feels like a Saturday. Saturday, Sunday. Uh, what do we have here? Queen of Wands. Yep, busy, busy. Lovers. Ooh, very attractive, too. Some of you guys have a very romantic, healthy relationship going. Others of you, it looks like there's somebody looking at you as if you have a lot of energy and they love that about you, right? So even though they're like, you need to chill, they actually love it when you're not chill. <laughs> Truth be told, right? I also feel like somebody, um, somebody's thinking about you a lot. They're even fantasizing about you a little bit. Like what life would be like if you guys were together. You're the last person they think about when they go to sleep. And then when they wake up, you're the first one they think about. They might even dream about you. But they definitely fantasize about you. Like what would it be like if... We were in this house and we had this many little ones running around, right? We had an extra room over there for their studio and another room over here for my work. Then we got this big old yard fenced in so we can get that dog. Like, somebody's really thinking about things. Oh yeah, Ace of Wands. So this could be you making plans with your partner. Or somebody thinking about what it would be like to be with you, fantasizing. You've got an admirer, Libra. Someone that admires you. They could be around you right now. They could be just watching you. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, watching you receive. God prepared that table and they're watching you feast. Mm. Mm -mm. I get the feeling this person is also seated at that same table. Probably how they got their eyes locked on you. Probably why they're so interested in you. You're interested in the same things that they are. They can learn a lot from you. They might even be able to teach you some things too. Like you guys can pick each other's brains. This would be great for conversation. <clears throat> Libras need that. The star, death, rebirth, magician. I mean major, major, major. Arcana. Wow, with the ace of cups. Woo! You light this person up, Libra. They don't want you to change anything, but they want to change a few things about themselves because you inspire them. They see how you move, how you talk to people, how you 
just are, your personality. And they're like, I want to be more like that. I, I should probably rub elbows with Libra a little bit and maybe take on a couple of their mannerisms because, wow, I like that. I want to be happy like that. I want to be energetic like that. I want to be focused and determined like that. I want to be able to make my dreams come true like that. I want to have that kind of confidence. I want to be able to walk into a room and just be happy. Bring all the happiness in with me and the, the party, right? I want to bring all that in there with me and leave all my stuff behind, which means I have to change a few things. But wow, Libra, you are inspiring this person to become a better version of themselves. You're helping them just by being yourself. Like, literally, all you have to do is be you. You can sleep, and you're inspiring this person. They want to change things, but nothing bad. They want to change for the better here. The magician. They see you, they see you manifesting. They see you being happy. They see you learning. Right? But they're learning too, because you're teaching as well. And there it is. King of Wands, King and Queen. That's this is a power couple. Taking a chance on a happy connection. Ten of Cups, High Priestess, with the Hierophant. Oh my gosh, that's another super power couple. Yep, making sure you block any negative thoughts that stop you from having this happiness. So that you can go after what you're passionate about. You've been slowly waiting for it. You've been working on things slowly for somebody to come in. You've been waiting. I mean, sorry, working while waiting. Right? You've been planting all these seeds while you had the time to. Now you're just sitting back watching your plants grow, taking a nap. Right? Taking a nap. Maybe you fell asleep by a tree recently. I don't know. Or on the beach. But yeah, some of you guys were worried, too. You're like, I'm getting a little bit old. Maybe my time is up. Maybe I passed my chance to have that relationship, to have that marriage, to have children. Maybe you feel like, you know, oh, I'm, I'm this age. That means I'm, what, late to the party? Stop. No, you're not. It just happens at a different time for all of us. But you got two sets of power couples here, the High Priestess and the Hierophant. By the way, this is one of the most powerful. No, it is. It's the most powerful connection in the whole deck. This is a power couple, potentially, Libra, should you so choose to be open to it. I do not think you know this person yet. They see you, though, and they're inspired by you. Like, right away, they're inspired by you. You've got a little bit of hesitant energy with this Eight of Swords here. Your, your guard is up, your wall is up. But, you know, you keep that heart chakra open, and this Ten of Cups is very possible. That's the Happily Ever After card. Nine of Pentacles, this is what you're meant to receive, the star card. You are destined to receive this. You are meant to receive this. You're on your path. They're on their path. Your paths are coming together. Again, the potential to be a power couple, build a family together, something that's calm, something that's easy going, something that, like, I feel like you've met your match, Libra. And I know those are strong words. That, that's, you can't just say that to a Libra. Like, you can't say that lightly. But Libra, you have met your match with this one. For sure. Could be a Pisces, Taurus, Aries, Gemini, Leo, Aries, Gemini, Aquarius. No, Gemini, Virgo, Scorpio, Aquarius over here, though. Sagittarius again, too. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio because of the aces. There's a lot of signs out here, guys. Basically, it could be anybody, but you'll, you'll know. For some of you, you haven't met this person yet. You're just kind of relaxing, hanging out, living life, doing your thing in the Four of Swords, and then, boom, you meet this person, and you're like, whoa. Whoa. That's like family material. I could take this person home in the family. I bet they would love them. Page of Cups, you start really thinking about things. There's definitely an attraction here. Like magnets, you two. 
Anyways, I love you guys. I will see you in the next one. Until then, stay beautiful.